of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Lord my God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray, Almighty God, make us docile, in believing the faith, and courageous in confessing it, just as you granted St. Sixtus and his companions that they might lay down their lives for the sake of your word and in witness to Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Read from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escape the sword and have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love, I have loved you. So I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchman will call out on Mount Ephraim, Rise up and let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob, exalt at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guide us as a shepherd guides his flock. The Lord will guide us as a shepherd guides his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come blessings streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard his shepherd and guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us, the shepherd guards his flock. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. 
And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage in saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And your daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. Send her away, but she does not go. Only to say again, have pity on me. My daughter is tormented by a demon. All of us have people in our lives who are like the daughter, in need of prayer. Maybe it's our own children away from the church. Instead of living a life in it, they are living a life of the world. Maybe our parents are divorced, away from the church, and haven't returned since. Maybe we have a brother or sister who hasn't gone to church since early education of Catholic high school or elementary school. Maybe it's a co-worker we work with every day who is constantly starting gossip that we try not to engage in or sharing stories of things they did over the weekend we do not approve of. Or maybe a friend. I was listening to a little bit yesterday online from the great Archbishop Fulton Sheen, and it was on prayer, and he said this, Incidentally, our prayer should not always be talking. Suppose we went into a doctor's office and said, Doctor, I have a a pain here, a pain here, and a pain here. And then immediately we walk out. That is what some people do when they pray. He continues on, Scripture says, Speak, Lord, thy servant is listening. It doesn't say, Listen, Lord, thy servant is speaking. However, today the message is very clear. It is okay to speak for those unable to speak to him themselves, hoping someday that they will listen. Let us now take our petitions and lay them before our compassionate Father. For all members of the church, may the Lord help each of us Persevere in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may Jesus, the Prince of Peace, guide them towards civility and harmony and away from violence and war. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who are suffering from any affliction, may Jesus, who suffered and died for us, give them fortitude and hope in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this assembly, may the Holy Spirit nurture in us the unwavering faith and trust in Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died marked with the sign of the cross, may they soon rest in the loving arms of God. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you provide for all people and bring healing to those who call upon you. Hear the prayers we offer to you, we pray, and grant them as is your will. And we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. And to their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out. And without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Dan, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, and they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God, and Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Quintus, Clements, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count it among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension to heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of our high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray in all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners Hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. In ministry, beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, bless them, fill them with life, Fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to his apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have come to my word, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, the message.